Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the activity 2.8, which is about uh, distillation. Okay, how can we separate a mixture of two miscible liquids? Before uh, starting this video, I just want to say one thing. Uh, first you go through the video and if you like this way of teaching please press like button subscribe my channel and comment also because uh, when we get like from your side then it will encourage us to put more efforts so please like my all the videos Okay, now we start the topic. How can we separate a mixture of two miscible liquids? Miscible liquid means which can mix with each other. For example, water and ethanol. Okay. When you add ethanol in water, then ethanol is mixed in water. So we can call it miscible liquid. Other example like petrol and diesel. These are also miscible liquids because they can mix with each other. Now we start the activity 2.8. Let us try to separate acetone and water from their mixture and acetone and water uh, they are miscible liquids because acetone is mixed in water. You know? first, first you should know what is acetone. Acetone means it is a color, colorless liquid which is used for cleaning of laboratory wares yeah lab wares wares means uh, the equipment which we use in the laboratories or simply uh, the chemical which you used for removing the nail paint nail paints it is called acetone or thinner okay and the boiling point of acetone is uh, it is very important you should remember the boiling point of a stone it is 56 degrees celsius approx 56 degrees celsius okay and the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius okay uh, a stone clear a stone is a, a colorless liquid which is used for removing the nail paints or for using for cleaning purpose Okay, take a mixture of in a distillation flask. In this activity, we have to separate the acetone and water. Now, take a mixture in distillation flask and fit with a thermometer. Now, the question is what is distillation flask, flask? and what is the use of thermometer? Okay, in uh, figure 2.9. I'll explain. This is distillation flask. You know, this is distillation flask, and this is thermometer. Distillation flask. It is a piece of laboratory equipment. It is a laboratory equipment that is used to separate of two liquids or two miscible liquids with different boiling point. In this activity, acetone and water, they are having different boiling point. Acetone boiling point is 56 degree Celsius and water boiling point is 100 degree Celsius. So you can use this equipment or the distillation flask to separate these mixers. Now the question is how can you separate this mixer when we go through this activity then we will understand the concept now what is the use of thermometer 
it is used to measure the temperature of the vapors from where the vapors comes when you heat the mixer then ethanol first sorry the aston first starts boiling and convert into the vapors so you measure the temperature of the vapor now heat the mixer slowly and keeping a close watch at the thermometer means you will observing the temperature the acetone vaporizes why because acetone vaporizes first because the acetone boiling point is 56 degree celsius and water boiling point is 100 degree celsius means acetone has lower boiling point than water means when you heat the mixer then first acetone starts evaporating or starts vaporizes okay and condenses in the condenser where the condenser this is the condenser water is left behind in the distillation flask okay i'll just explain this figure wait yes dekhi this is distillation flask and it is used to separate two miscible liquids thermometer is used to measure the temperature and when this water vapors goes up then water vapors starts cooling because there is temperature decreases and then this water vapors passes into the condenser okay inside the condenser and then we collect the acetone and the remaining water is left now we use cool water you can see from downside not from the upside we use cool water to condense the acetone okay so that it converts from vapor to the liquid form and then we collect it okay now the question is we uh, just passes the cold water from down side why not from up side actually we uh, passes the cold water from down side and then it goes up and cool this this vessel this and then acetone uh, here vaporizes and then it converted into the liquid form and then passes and the remaining water move out from the water outlets theek hai now the question is water goes from down to up not up to down not up to down why because the reason is water must enter from the bottom of the condenser in order to fill the entire condensation if water enters from the top then it drains from the bottom if water drain, uh, enters from the top then it drains from the bottom it means that it never fills the condenser condenser so water must enter from down side okay this is the important point okay now we heat the mixer okay when it uh, reaches to 56 degree celsius then uh, acetone starts evaporating and then condense and then convert into the liquid form and then we collect acetone and here water is left means we separate water and acetone by using distillation flask and this process is called distillation okay uh, now explain the acetone vaporizes and condenses the condenser in condenser and can be collected from the condenser outlet what is left behind in the distillation flask so we separate these two mixers now the question is what do you observe 
on the filter paper as the water rises on it okay this is not the question actually the question is this sorry what do you observe as you start heating the mixture actually while start heating the mixture acetone separate from the water separate from water why because acetone boiling point is less than water this is the answer of first part now second part at what temperature does the thermometer reading become constant for some time the answer is at 56 degree celsius why because at 56 degree celsius the acetone starts converting into the vapor forms okay when you raise the temperature like 70 degree celsius but in thermometer it remains 56 degree celsius why because the extra temperature like 14 degree celsius extra temperature it is used for the uh, to the uh, changing the state for changing the state like uh, liquid to vapor so at what temperature does the thermometer reading become constant the answer is 56 degree celsius what is the boiling point what is the boiling point of sorry wait uh where is the yes what is the now the third part is what is the boiling point of a stone the answer is 56 degrees celsius both answer is same second part and third part answer 56 degrees celsius why do the two components separates the answer is because there is a difference in the boiling points of acetone and water because of the difference in boiling point uh they separated okay this method is called this method is called distillation wait yes this method is called distillation okay now it is used for the separation of components of a mixer containing two miscible liquids that boil without decomposition means without decomposition means suppose you take a beaker and you start heating the mixer in this mixer like water is there or suppose alcohol is there when you start heating then it should not be dissociate into the hydrogen and oxygen okay for example if you want to get uh, alcohol and water so you can separate these but distillation is used uh, so that the the liquids they boil without decomposition means they cannot uh, decompose into the simpler substances like water having h2o alcohol having carbon hydrogen oxygen and uh, they cannot be separated into carbon hydrogen oxygen because we cannot get the alcohol means it should not be decomposed and have sufficient difference in their boiling point for dekho distillation is a two type simple distillation and simpler distillation and fractional distillation simpler and fractional distillation in simpler distillation the boiling point should be more than 25 degree celsius or 25 degree kelvin same in fractional distillation the boiling point should be less than 25 degree celsius or 25 degree kelvin okay for example uh like water boiling point is 100 degree celsius and uh, acetone boiling point is 56 degree celsius the difference in their temperature is 
ट्वेंटी सॉरी द डिफरेंस इज फोर्टी फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस मीन्स इट इज मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस सो यू कैन यूज सिंपलर डिस्टिलेशन टू गेट सेपरेटेड ओके डोंट बी कन्फ्यूज हेयर इट इज रिटर्न हेयर ट्वेंटी फाइव कैलविन बट इफ द डिफरेंस इन डिग्री सेल्सियस इज फोर्टी सिक्स डिग्री सेल्सियस देन इन कैलविन इट इज ऑल्सो फोर्टी सिक्स डिग्री कैलविन ओके नाउ इफ द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी फाइव कैलविन और ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस फ्रैक्शनल डिस्लेशन प्रोसेस इज यूज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द सेपरेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट गैसेज फ्रॉम एयर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट हाउ वी गेट different gases from air i will give one example to you like ethanol ethanol means the uh, alcohol that we drink like jo log sharab peete hain that is called ethanol and water water temperature means boiling point is 100 degree celsius and ethanol boiling point is 78 degree celsius when we get subtract these then we get 22 degree celsius it is less than 25 so we can use fractional distillation to separate ethanol and water again again i am telling uh, for the liquid uh, which have boiling point difference boiling point is less than 25 degree celsius we use fractional distillation now uh different fraction fraction from petroleum product etc the apparatus is similar to that of simple distillation except that of fractional fractionating column is fitted in between the distillation flask and the condensation there is a, a figure a uh, given in which you can uh, understood this dekhiye this is a fractional distillation there is a separating col column or like this there are some different separating column like one column second column like third column there are different fractionating column to get different substances or the different liquid a simple fractionating column is a tube packed with glass beads the bead provides surface for the vapors to cool and condense repeatedly and to condense what we use cool water from which side from down to top so that it can fill the full condenser okay uh, i think this topic is completed this is completed in the next video uh, i will explain you how can we obtain different gases from air now don't forget to uh, like subscribe and comment Thank you so much. Thank you.